Next are alignment, using 2 star and solar system align, a 234 second guide by All Star Telescope. The defining feature of the Nexstar series of telescopes is its go-to capability that automatically finds and tracks celestial objects. In order to utilize this automatic feature, the mount has to first be calibrated. The Nexstar hand controller provides many options for alignment. In this video, we'll be covering the solar system and two-star alignment methods using the Nexstar hand controller. First, we'll start with the quicker, albeit less accurate alignment method, solar system align. This tracking method will lose accuracy over time. Let's begin. Turn on the telescope and using the numpad arrows, select your chosen language. If you make a wrong selection, you can restart the setup process by turning off the telescope and then turning the telescope back on while holding the enter and celestron buttons. After selecting the language, press the enter button to continue the alignment process. Using the numpad arrows again, navigate to and select Solar System Align. You'll then be presented with two options for setting up your location, City Database and Custom Site. City Database is a quicker but less accurate route. It involves selecting your country and the closest city to you. Alternatively, you can use the Custom Site option to input latitude and longitude if you're not near a city in the city database. If you're not sure what your coordinates are, your latitude and longitude can be found on Google Maps via right-clicking on a spot on desktop or holding down on a location on mobile. Enter your latitude and longitude along with your latitude north-south position relative to the equator and longitude east-west position relative to Greenwich, England. Input your time in 12 hour or 24 hour time. Select whether daylight savings is on or off and input the date. The next star setup is now complete. A few things to note before starting the alignment. First, the location on the telescope needs to be updated anytime you relocate a significant distance in order to track the stars accurately. Updating your location can be completed upon restarting your telescope. Second, the alignment needs to be redone any time the telescope is moved, whether that be a few centimeters or a few feet. If the tripod feet move after alignment, it needs to be realigned. Select a solar system object easy for you to find in the sky, like a planet or the moon. Use the directional arrows to center the object in your red dot finder. Once it is centered, press enter. Afterwards, center the object in your eyepiece. Once centered, press align. The next star will now be aligned. Be cautious when rotating the mount. As the mount rotates, the cable can become wrapped, damaging the port and or the cable. Other celestial objects can now be tracked by pushing the category button and selecting the desired object. A more accurate alignment method is a two star alignment. Scroll down to 2 star align. If needed, set the location, date and time settings, otherwise you'll be using the previously entered information. For this method, you'll need to select and center on two different stars. These stars need to be far apart in order to maximize accuracy. You can use one of the many SkyMap apps on iOS or Android to help you identify and locate the two stars needed, or one of the many books or physical maps, all available at All Star Telescope. Here's some common stars used for alignment. Like before, start with centering the first star in the red dot finder. Hit enter. Then center the first star in your eyepiece. Press align. Still using the directional buttons, slew over to the second star and follow the same process again. Once the second star is aligned, the next star is now ready to go to and track other celestial objects. For more information, products, and guides, visit allstartelescope.com.